for making our roof, my style is that I block each of the plants together. Why? It's because when I overlap lines, which is lines which are lines from the roof, I don't want them to overlap with each other. So I want it to be clean and no disturbances at all. So I make this one as a block, then type in ground floor plan. Next, block the second floor pan. We'll type in second floor pan. After that, we can now trace our roof now and make a roof. It depends on you. If you have your roof on the ground floor, we can outline here as well. But for now, on my design, the roof stands on the second floor. So I will first outline my floor plan, the outer, the exterior walls with polyline. PL, enter. And I will just outline the outer perimeter. We have many different styles of floor plan here. So as you can see, you can even check your lines if they are faulty. Like for example, this one. This is faulty. So we will change that later. Maybe I stretched this one. So beware of that. Next, after outlining the perimeter walls of your second floor, I will offset it maybe 1.2. Depends on you. So mine, I will offset it 1, 2. There. 1, 2 outside, of course. And after that, this will be the roof outline. But we don't have yet the gutter. So we will offset again 0.15 meters or 0.10. Maybe depends on you. So 150. Let's try much. I'll change it to offset. O for offset, okay. Then 100. In real life, the gutter is like 75 mm only. So right now, I just want to cl clarify it in the floor plan, so I'll make it 100. Okay? Para claro lang siya. So right now, since in my layout of floor plans, I have already established my floor plan page sheet with title block, I will copy-paste this one on the lower part because the, on, on this part will be my reflected ceiling plan. And since this will be a floor plan, I will delete this now, make it untouched, and explode it again. I should have copied paste this one in the first part, but now, since it, since this one is a block and I want this to be the RCP, and this is not the floor plan, I will change the colors inside. I can freely change the colors inside. So I'll delete first the dimensions because the dimensions in the RCP depends on the lights, not on the walls and the windows. Then I will change not the layers but the colors here so that it will look more uniform. And then I will change the thickness of the line to 0, 0. Because the important thing in the RCP is the lights, not the walls and the doors and the windows. It's all in the floor plan previously. But now we will focus on the RCP. So save changes, yes. So this one is already changed, but in your floor plan, it remains the same. Okay, so here is your floor plan. Now I'll make, I'll insert the RCP here. Move copy, move to end, create a copy. Okay, I'll drag this here and rename reflected ceiling plan there now you notice that this one is still on the floor plan um, M view so I will double click this one and drag down para nana sa RCP oops undo there I didn't yet edit this one, the ground floor. You can also change or label what you have done in the CAD model. So same thing, delete, then change. So here, 
I did not change the layer, but I override the colors and the uh, line weight. But the layers stay the same. Like for example, if I click this one, this still is a layer under walls. Okay, so click OK, save to floor plan, then there. It's cleaner. Again, this is RCP, guys. So in RCP, let's focus first on the second floor. So in the second floor, you have a soffit. So normally, it's a soffit. Merong kanto. Nakamiter yan siya. And normally, it's 45 degrees. So you just outline that one. There. I really need to change this one. There. Tada. 90 degrees. Then, after that, maghatch tayo. H. Because I want to use WPC for the ceiling. Mm, which one? Man? This one. So for example, on this area, kasi same sila ng vertical hatch. So saan pa ba? So dyan lang na. So vertical hatch sila. I'll change the angle here. Make this maybe try first 50. Mm, too small. Change it to 100. Uh, 150. And I think this is okay. And then I'll change the angle to 90. There. So you have the soffit there. And then H again for the horizontal ones. And then if you want, na hindi na mag change change ulit ng hatch, you can just match the properties MA. Click this one first and then click your hatch. Para maisa siya. But then you need to click as well again because we will change this one back to zero. Para ganyan. So that's your soffit. I think this one is a vertical. So I'll match this one. Match properties to this one. There. There are the checklists for your RCP. You have your ceiling details, ceiling lights and fixtures, legend, specifications, and room labels. You can download it online. In my case, I already have um, the legends for the electrical plan. So normally what I use is this one, the LED light or MR16. You can also specify your own lights there. Plus, I can give you an example here as well. My previous plans. This is a sample of an RCP. So what is in the RCP first off? Your gutter. Your soffit or whatever soffit you use, you use Naraba or real wood or PVC. Then next, you have your ceiling details, which are like this. You can make a new layer for that. Because my ceiling has a ceiling gap. From the wall to the main ceiling, I have a ceiling gap, so I put that in the detail as well. Next are the lights, the pin lights, ceiling fan if you have. And what else? If you have a chandelier, you can put that. Then Put a special note there or a legend that says maybe CH or chandelier. Um, anything under the sun, you can put it in the legend. Just make sure that you label it properly. Like even the ceiling fan, I put CF on it. So don't forget as well to label your rooms, master bedroom, um, living area, etc. Okay, so what, it, what does it look like on the plan? It somehow looks like this. So you have your dimensions for your ceiling, for your lights, plus also your specs. So you have your arrow here, the soffit, UP, UPVC cladding on Wenge, dark wood, color with wood grain finish, ceiling, fiber cement board with wood grain beam cladding, etc. So I think you get the point, plus your legend here at the right side. Whatever you've put in your RCP, that's the only, these are the only things that you're going to put on your legend. After you have done your RCP, you can just copy the gutter line, the roof line, and the outline of the walls so that we can start with our roof plan. So I'm making my roof first and then make a line. This is on ortho mode right now. And then I will type greater than 45. 
So it will make an angle like this. And after that, I will also make another angle which is 135 degrees. So there. Don't worry if it's aligned or not with the other lines because we will copy paste them all. So CO and then paste it on all corners that you can see that matches or that oh yeah that matches the corner so if you have the corner here make sure you click it on the bottom side so yeah next on this side copy paste using that marker and then click and then copy again and here so make sure your roof is correct then after that you can do the fillet we need to establish the bigger roof first. So this is the bigger roof. So I'll copy and paste this area here. And then make our fillets. F is the command for fillet. Make sure you didn't type any numerical value for the radius or else it will be a rounded edge, not a sharp one like this. And after that, um, I will just type E for extend. E, X for extend. So I'll click first the boundary or the edge, then I will click which one I will extend. So that's it. Then I'll go back to fillet, F for fillet, then connect all the lines. And there you go, you have your roof. So that's your roof plan, I can delete this one. Then after that, you can just simply put on your hatches again, same as what we have done earlier. But I want to choose a different hatch this time. Make sure your hatches are... Uh, light it's not overpowering okay this should be a true color gray so i'll change the layer to maybe 100 in the scale it's still too big maybe 1000 yeah i think this one fits 45 yes that's perfect make sure your hatch like the roof lines go with goes with the gutter so that the flow of the water goes down freely on the gutter not the other way around I'll change this to true layer, true color, gray, there. And hatch again until we get to finish the hatch. Match properties so that it will be easier. I'll just change the angle to 135 there. Then lastly, the hatch here. And just match the properties here. So there you go, you have your roof. These are the checklists for your roof plan. First, your roof line. Second, the gutter line. We have already, already done that. Hatches for your roof design. Make sure they are in true color gray so that it won't overpower any of our drawings. Next is the arrow for the slope of the roof. I'll show it to you later then the specifications so this is how it looks like when you make your roof plan simple as it is plus you need to make or put your dimensions as well so after you're done with your roof you can put now your dimensions how do you dimension the roof plan you need to put as well the offset from the main wall okay and outlining the external wall so that the contractor can have a guide on how big or wide your eaves are you need to have your overall dimension of the roof plus the offset plus the center line so that it will be more detailed then after that, I'll just match the properties of my dimensions before. Adding my slope. For my slope, you can just simply get or have a simple triangle. You can have chevron or whatsoever. Don't overpower it with a very big arrow, okay? So you can use in the mirror tool here and the rotate tool you can you can also rotate while copying your elements so 
for example, I typed in rotate, and then after I clicked it, I'll type C for copy, and then after that, click. So that's it. Just move this one. So after you have finished this this one, what else do we need? Arrow for the soap and specifications. For the specifications, I really highly suggest that you put this specifications on your um, sheets. Okay. And then lastly, I want to copy my outline here. Let's establish it on the layout. So in your reflected ceiling plan, of course, you have your ground reflected ceiling plan and the second floor reflected ceiling plan. And for the roof plan, you just put it on the left side maybe and then leave the leave a space here for other sheets or other drawings that we will have in the future. Okay, so that's it. I will keep you posted on our next prelim plates. Thank you guys.